So a few days ago, I put up a video about CM Punk competing in a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu tournament in the Chicago area uh, a week ago. Uh, this story has been picked up since uh, by a lot of the big BJJ sites, including BJJ, um, BJJ Scout. He put up a video on this as well. Uh, there's been a bit of misinformation as far as how he actually did. Uh, some people don't even think he competed, which is not exactly true. He had signed up for both the seniors division, which is 40 plus, and then an adults division. He competed in the seniors division, but then did not do the adult division. So some people thought because he didn't do the adult, adult division, he didn't compete at all. He actually did compete. He competed at seniors. Uh, they saw Some people saw the picture where he had a medal, so they thought that he had won some matches. That was also not true. He had lost both of his matches in a three-man bracket. Uh, first loss was 7 nothing to a guy named David Thomas, who I believe has a 91 record in these smaller tournaments that are tracked by Smooth Comp, which is the software that's used for all these smaller tournaments. Uh, and then he had also lost to Daniel Beatty, who also has a winning record by a score of 11-2. So in the video that I had, I was just going based off of the score because, again, I was competing at the same time, so I didn't actually have a chance to watch the matches. All I could really go off of was the score. Uh, but now they've actually released some photos. So we know that he lost 7 nothing to David Thomas, and we know he lost 7-2 to Daniel Beatty. What I was saying is that I figured that the 7 nothing loss was probably he pulled guard, um, gave up a guard pass for three points, then a pass to mount to the back for another four. And then the Beatty one, I assume that his two points are just from a sweep. I didn't realize they'd ever like gained a better position than that. And in these smaller tournaments, they don't give you, like, for example, if you get to side control, it's not necessarily the case that you're going to get three points. You actually have to, like, complete a guard pass. So if I, like, sweep you and over the course of the sweep, you never really retain a guard, but I end up in side control. I'm not going to get side control points for it. And it looks as though in his match, he actually did at one point get side control. So this is the match with Daniel Beatty, uh, the one he lost 11 to 2. But it looks though as though, even though he lost that match, and there aren't really a whole lot of photos of him... Um, in some of the negative positions in that match, he actually did have a Kamara at one point. So here's an image of him attacking that Kamara. And what I'll do is I'll just go through all the other photos that have come up since then uh, of his matches. So we have that one right there. This is also during the BD match, so it looks like this is when he was in guard. Um, not sure if he's looking to pass here or just kind of like fight off a grip. Um, and then we got another one right here. So this is another angle at Kamara. So you can kind of see here. He actually was kind of close to finishing it here. Now, the way that he's got it gripped, it, it's kind of tough, I think, from where he's at. What he'd probably want to do is to take this hand right here, which would be his left hand, and then switch it with his right hand. So he does like a one-arm Kamara, almost kind of like what, my, what Michael Chiesa did. And then with his left arm, release that, and then try to control uh, his opponent from turning away or turning into him. Um, but he did have a pretty close submission attempt there. So... At, at first glance, it looked as though he just kind of got destroyed in this tournament. Uh, he did lose that one match seven to nothing, but it looks as though this match that he lost eleven to two, which actually was a larger, a larger loss. He he definitely had his moments where he he was shining in here. So we have that. Let me see what else we would have pictures from him. They kind of have it mixed around here. Uh, this is the same match going for that same Kimura. But as you can tell, the guy is going to be able to come up here, and he probably ends up taking his head out and sneaking away. Uh, but for a short moment, though, it looked like he was working on a submission that he may have been able to finish. We've got this right here, which is after one of his matches. This is the David Thomas match that he had lost 7 to nothing. so here's him fighting for some grips on the feet. Some more grip fighting in that match. Looks like he's pulling guard here, which kind of confirms what I was saying, where he pulled guard and probably got his guard pass and then gave up an additional four points for mounter back. So it looks as though he's pulling guard here. And there he is playing guard. Uh, that's, that's a separate match. Uh, where else do we have some CM Punk images? Not that far. All right, here we go. So after the match, let's see was a little bit bloody afterwards. Having fun. All right. And there's, I believe, about 14 other pictures there, but it's kind of mixed around. They don't—they didn't really go in order in this album, which kind of makes it difficult to go through. Uh, but I have some notes in front of me just going off of what image numbers we're going at. So right now looking for 280. So we're at 250 here. So just one more. Yep, 275, not quite there. All right, so here we go. So from here, it's hard to tell if this is him trying to finish off a sweep or if he actually like shot in on a takedown here. But either way, this is one of those examples where in jiu-jitsu, sometimes you get into wrestling positions even if you aren't like going straight from a, a wrestling stand up, from a standing up position. So a lot of times when you're finishing half-guard sweeps, you end up in the single leg. 
So one of the reasons why I do a lot of wrestling videos and one of the reasons why I'm a really big fan of wrestling is because I've, I realize that there's a lot of a lot of similarities between the two. And this is a perfect example right here where wrestling and jujitsu can overlap. Uh, but ends up, ends up getting on top in here, just some more angles of that Kimura attempt. It's kind of funny looking at his face, how much, how ferocious it looks. Just going, going right after it pretty fierce. And then looks like he eventually loses it here. And just a few more pictures left. Where are we at? Here we go. So again, this is the match that he lost by a score of 11 to 2. So he's trying to pass right here. I mean, not terrible. Looks like he's trying to get a weave right here with his left arm. He's got the guard open. Just needs to kind of get his hips out and pass around. And then based off of the reaction he gets, that would kind of determine his finish. And that kind of leaves his leg hanging in there. Looks like he's starting to get out of room there. I mean, he's, he's decently deep on a pass attempt here. This actually isn't bad at all. And looks like that was it for the photos. So there you have it. There is uh, some new photos from CM Punk's recent tournament. Ended up losing both matches, but just despite what you might have heard, he actually did a lot better than did a lot better than what you may have heard as far as him just not showing up. But then also with him losing both matches, it looked like he just got destroyed the entire day. But definitely had his moments, and the photographer uh, specifically caught those. Didn't really have a whole lot of moments of him not doing too well there. But I don't know. I guess when you you have a celebrity like that at one of your tournaments, you kind of want to spotlight him in a positive manner. So when other people look at it, other other celebrities look at it and see, they're like, "Hey, maybe I'll do a grappling if in the future." They seem to treat it treat CM Punk well. Maybe they'll treat me well as well.